Okay, scholars, let's take a look at the bottom part of electric power handout. Energy cost. The amount of electrical energy used by an electrical appliance or device depends on it blank while being used and how much blank it is used for. It depends on its power while being used and how much time it is used for. Just like the DVD player we just did. It depends on how much power it is and, we had, and then we had to multiply that by how many minutes. Usually we don't use minutes. Usually we use hours for the time. And for power, we usually use kilowatts, meaning a thousand watts. And that gives us a unit of energy called the kilowatt hour. And it is equivalent to the amount of energy used by a one kilowatt device for one hour. I'll give you an example of a one kilowatt device. A typical um, hair dryer is a thousand watts. So if you keep that hair dryer on for one whole hour, it will have used one kilowatt hour of energy. And the average cost for electricity in California is about 18 cents per kilowatt hour. But this can increase when large amounts of electricity are used. People are generally becoming more aware of their electricity use in order to save money and energy. And one way is to do an energy audit of various appliances in your home. And in a few minutes here, I'm going to show you my electric bill. So I can show you a little bit about how this pricing works. So first, energy audit of household appliances. I want you to pick five household appliances from the list provided in class or on EDU, and I'll give you a link for that, and calculate how much it costs to use them using the table as a guide, the table that's on the back. Estimate a reasonable time that the device is used per day. For example, a television turn on for three hours or an alarm clock for 24 hours. Then calculate the cost per month using the table on the back. So here's what this table looks like, and let's pick one device as an example. Let's say you have a dishwasher, which is a 1200 watt dishwasher, and you run it once per day. And that cycle usually takes um, about 45 minutes. So let's put in these numbers into the table over here. So appliance, dishwasher. And the power of it was 1200 watts. We want to convert that to kilowatt hours first. And we can do that by dividing by 1,000. Since remember that one kilowatt, um, kilowatt equals 1,000 watts. OK, so this becomes 1.2 kilowatts. Time per day. I said a dishwasher takes about 45 minutes to run through its cycle. So that would be 0.75 hours. And the energy used per day is going to be the power in kilowatt hours times the hours, I mean the power in kilowatts times the time in hours gives us the amount of kilowatt hours of energy. So what is 1.2 times 0.7? We get 0 0.90 kilowatt hours times 18 cents per kilowatt hour. So to show real clear here, we multiply these numbers together. And now we're going to take this number and multiply it times 18 cents to get the cost per day. So this means 0 0.16 dollars or 16 cents per day. What if we run this every day of the month? So we can take this, we can multiply times 30 days per month. And what do we get? 4.86, cents that it costs us to run that. So now you see this example, I'd like you to pick at least three other appliances from the table that I gave you the link for and calculate how much does it cost to use per day, how much does it cost to use per month. And you can use the same value here of 18 cents per kilowatt hour for each of them. But as you'll see from my electric bill, Sometimes you end up paying much more than 18 cents per kilowatt hour. And after you do the table, I'd like you to answer these three questions uh, underneath using complete sentences. Okay, check it out. This is my electric bill. I'm logged into my Southern California Edison account. And I have a smart meter installed in my home. So I have lots of information about my electric energy usage. I'm going to click on the usage tab right here. And it's going to show me some 
some uh, trends here as it finishes loading up. Okay, this is my energy use yesterday. So from midnight until midnight last night, where did I use the most, when did I use the most energy? You can see that beginning at five in the morning when I was up and getting ready for work, I was, during that hour I used about three kilowatt hours. And then at seven o'clock and eight o'clock, the rest of my family got up and was getting ready for school. So they were using about five kilowatt hours during each of those months. Then we left the house, didn't use hardly any energy. Then we came back home, starting to use energy again. So this is very, uh, it's very instructive about how we use energy throughout the day. I can also click on the monthly trend. Actually, we'll take a look at um, my, my daily trend. So you can see here that I used a lot more electricity yesterday than I did the day before. And the day before we got home really late, I remember that. You can also see weekends are in blue. And um, not too much difference with the weekends, but maybe your trends will be different. Um, so there's lots of things that we can see here, uh, lots of information we can get from it. Now, uh, we can also take a look at the monthly trend from month to month. So I'm going to click on uh, monthly trend at the top. And we can see that in October, I, I use a lot less electricity than in September, when I, in which I use a lot more than I did the previous three months or, or more. I can also compare it going back to October of 2011, 2010, and 2009. And I can see that I ended up using this definitely less during October last month than I did in the previous years. Well, maybe not. It's about the same with October 2012. But that's definitely less than 2011 and 2010. So it helps me to analyze my energy usage. And from that, I can begin to make some changes about how I use certain appliances, how I leave my lights turned on or off, um, how I'm using the dishwasher maybe versus washing by hand, changes like that. So I can also go over and click on my account and if I scroll down I can take a look at build usage. So once I'm on my account I can go over to projected next bill and I can see how my energy use compares to, um, to last month. Or actually, I set, um, I set a goal that I want to spend no more than $160 per month. And right now, if I continue using electricity at this rate for the rest of my billing period for this month, I'll end up going $26 over my spending goal. If I click on View Recent Usage, oh no, actually, if I click on How Is This Calculated, you'll be able to see how much I'm paying per kilowatt hour. So the first tier here, this is the first amount of electricity that you're using during a month. And they bill you only 13 cents per kilowatt hour. When you keep using electricity, you go into tier two, which is more expensive. And now, right now, for this month, I'm in tier three. I'm paying 26 cents per kilowatt hour. And it looks like I'm pretty close to going into tier four, at which point I'll begin to pay 20 cent, 29 cents for every kilowatt hour of energy I use. So they really start to ding you for using excessive amounts of electricity. It's very difficult to stay in tier one. You would have to be a real energy miser. Um, but it's doable to stay in tier two and tier three. Now in my case, in my home, everything I use is run off of electricity. Whereas most of your homes have natural gas. Maybe you have a gas stove, maybe you have a gas water heater, maybe a gas dryer. But in my house, I use electricity for all those things. So I would expect that my energy is going to be um, pretty high. So what I would like for you to do to finish off the electric power handout is to try to get a copy of your electric bill and analyze it. Maybe you have a paper copy of it or maybe you can go online and you, your parents can log into their account and you can take a look at some of your data. You may not have as much information as I do. If you don't have a smart meter you won't have all that information. But you can still find out how much electric energy you used last month measured in kilowatt hours and your bill will also compare that to previous years. And so from that information, you can answer the questions that are left on the electric power handout. Okay, scholars. Um, so in class, we'll do a couple of demos on electric power. And uh, thanks for tuning in.